I'm back today with another Vlogmas video and today we are going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul and I'm going to also taste test everything that I got. I'm going to taste test what I got at Trader Joe's. I also got some other things like my staples. Their fried rice, chicken fried rice is actually really good. Comes frozen and then you just cook it up, saute it up. Um, I got their lemon herb chicken um, that you have to roast. But obviously I can't taste test that stuff unless I'm cooking dinner. And I'm not. To be completely honest, I usually am not a big snacker. So I kind of got excited off of a few videos that I was watching. And I really just wanted to try a lot of their holiday stuff that I saw. And um, a few other things that I caught too. So let's go ahead and start this Trader Joe's haul. It's also raining in Southern California right now. So I had to put on some winter clothes. Got to wear my little hat today. And I'm not mad at it because I like to be comfortable. Who doesn't like to be comfortable? But I did go to Trader Joe's today in the rain. It wasn't that bad, not too many people there. So it's a win. Like I said before, I'm not a big snacker, so I don't have that many items. But the first thing that I wanted to start with was actually a good gift idea. This is Trader Joe's It's Sedimentary My Dear Cookie. So it already has like all the ingredients in it and I thought that, that it was super cute, very nice and layered. You don't have to go out and buy all these ingredients. You can just buy one of these, make cookies, and say you made cookies this year for Santa. I obviously can't try it out, but I thought it was a good gift idea. My dog's also here and uh, I think he wants to be in the video. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you down. A friend told me about the Trader Joe's crisps that they have. They're like little crackers. And I noticed that they did have a new flavor for the holidays. I think it's pistachio pomegranate crisps. And it's this. And they actually did have this on sample, so I tried it before I bought it. Because I usually get the fig and I think I think it's fig and basil. It comes in like a green box, which is really good. But their goat cheese at Trader Joe's is phenomenal. My only thing is, you never know what stuff is seasonal, which kind of makes me mad. At least I don't ever know what's seasonal. So there's a goat cheese that, I think it's like jalapeno something. It is so divine, but it's seasonal. And I haven't been able to find it. So... I kind of just go in and get the goat cheese that they have now. And I also got blueberry vanilla chevere, sh 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 blueberry vanilla chevere, fresh goat cheese. So that's going to go together. I have the blueberry goat cheese and the pomegranate crisp. We're going to try it. Mm. It's really sweet. Good crunch. I love it. If you haven't tried Trader Joe's goat cheese, go get you some. Like, I haven't tried all the flavors, obviously, but I just feel like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Pair it with the crisps. Mm -hmm. If you know me, you know I love Nova Lox bagels. And they're kind of expensive to go out and get. Like, we have an Einstein Bagel Brothers here. And it's kind of expensive. So, obviously, if you can find the ingredients, you should make it yourself, right? Well, I saw this. I think this is a holiday set, too. It's the Smoked Salmon Trio from Trader Joe's. And the flavors that they have are dried dill, beet powder, and black pepper. So I figured I would give this a try. I love smoked salmon. I'm originally from Washington State. So um, everyone pretty much only knows Seattle in Washington. So I'm just going to say Seattle area around kind of an hour away, really. But um, so good. Smoked salmon is so good. When I was in Trader Joe's, I told myself, when I was in this section, right, I told myself, you can have this or you can have that. You can't have both because obviously you go into Trader Joe's and you just buy, 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 buy. So I told myself, you can have this or you can have this. And what do I do? I end up getting 
both. They both ended up in my bag. So the other thing that I got is a smoked salmon with capers dip. Yum. Yum. This has to be good. Like, it has to be good. So, it has to be good. But let's be honest, I didn't need both of these. I didn't. But I did it anyways. I'm not going to return it. Like, I know it's going to be good. Is it weird if I try it with the crisp? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to try it with the crisp. I am going to just... Should I have the salmon on the salmon? It's not a bad idea. It'll probably be good. I should try I should try it with the crisp, huh? Okay, I'm going to try it with the crisp. Maybe one without the crisp too. And see which tastes better. Mm, so beautiful. I'm going to try the dill smoked salmon. Just have like a piece of it. Oh yeah. Who doesn't love smoked salmon? Personally, I don't really like cooked fish. I'm a sushi girl. Like, don't cook my fish. It just, it tastes better to me. Not cooked. Smoked salmon is so good. Now, this is the crisp, the pomegranate crisp. And then we have the salmon and dill dip. And then we have the dried dill salmon, smoked salmon on top of that. The dip is very like airy and cream cheesy. I don't really taste too much salmon though. So I'm glad I didn't just get that because obviously I wanted the smoked salmon. So the dip doesn't have too much salmon flavor in it, but it's good. I like the consistency. Actually, that whole thing was good. The crisp, the salmon, and the dip together. Explosion. So good. The next item I got when I was checking out, I couldn't pass it up. It was like at the little stand when you're waiting to get checked out. And I just had to grab it. And the girl that was checking me out said that these are like one of her favorite things around holiday. Peppermint Pretzel Slims. I like those thin uh, pretzel chips. And I like peppermint too, so I figured I would try it. It's so pretty. It kind of looks like a bow, but obviously it's, it's not. White chocolate, peppermint. Mmm. This is going to be a problem. I think I could probably eat this whole bag right now. It's that good. The peppermint flavor isn't overpowering at all. It's definitely like more milk chocolate with a hint of peppermint. And I like that. Pretzel's good too. Pretzel's in the background at this point. The white chocolate, peppermint, so good. Back in the day day, when I would go to Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is not close to me. It's kind of out of the way for me. So I don't go there very often at all. So back in the day day, I used to get these, what are they, like snap pea crisps or like uh, snow pea crisps? crisps? Uh, they were like just crunchy vegetables. They were really good, salted, so good. This time around, I couldn't find them. So that makes me nervous. I couldn't find them, but what I did find is crispy, crunchy okra. I've heard about this. I've never had it though. But I like okra and I liked those crispy peas. So I should like this, right? Let's see. The aroma when you open up the bag is a little weird. A little weird. <laughs> Looks exactly like okra. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I want you guys to see the middle of this. See if we can, see if we can get that. It's empty in the middle, right? So it tastes like vegetables. Fine. Tastes like nothing. Taste. There's an aftertaste. It's gross. This is gonna have to be a hard no for me. But I got another item that was on a holiday list. Blue cheese mustard. You either love blue cheese or you hate blue cheese. But the guy that was bagging my groceries said he loves this stuff. He said it makes very good vinaigrette. Maybe. I'm not gonna make vinaigrette right now. So let me go ahead and just try it with one of these nasty okra crisps. There we go. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like mustard. I like. The taste of the mustard like overpowers any bad thing with the okra, but the okra gives a nice crisp to the snack. I think I found besties. At least that way I can eat the rest of this bag. I mean, I didn't want to waste my money. But this stuff is good. My last items are beverages. And I'm going to drink one of them. But I'm not going to drink the other thing. Because I have to be in the mood for this kind of item. I got Every Time Bouche de Noel Stout. It's a stout brewed with coffee and cocoa nibs. I had to get two. Because I really love Belching Beaver's uh, peanut butter stout and I figured out later on in life because I've always hated beer that I think there's specific kinds of beer that I do like so stouts I notice I do tend to like milk stout peanut butter stout so I wanted to give this a try but I'm just not really in the mood to drink beer right now so I'm gonna save it for later good times but this is a holiday item, so that's why I decided to get it. Even though in the store I was like, I don't really feel like drinking beer right now. I knew it was going to be gone, so I thought I should try it first. Last, but certainly not least, I had to get eggnog. I love eggnog, and my son loves eggnog. I don't think that my husband really likes eggnog, unless it has some liquor in it. But, um, yeah, no, we die for eggnog. We love it, so I figured I would get some. And I've never had any eggnog from Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Smells like eggnog. They also have a light eggnog too, so you, you don't have to get like the full fat. It's good. It's okay. I've had better eggnog. Yeah, I think I like thicker eggnog, where it's like you drink a cup and it fills you up. It's like a whole meal, whole meal, whole snack, dessert meal thing. And this is a little watery to me. But it's still good. I'm still going to drink it. If you're still watching this, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed my little Trader Joe's haul and... I'll see you guys tomorrow.